Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 Me, <laughs> you, we, we, we. Bathroom's just over there. say good people here at k -Days. you know what they say. If you take a big shell, put your hands together, put your hands together, and if you make a shell, and you hold that shell up to your ear, what can you hear? The ocean, exactly. Now what are the sounds when you go to bed? The waves of music in your head. Loving words somebody said. Are you sure about that? <laughs> All right. What continent are we on? Parents, join in. North America, thank you. What continent? What province? What city? What is your name? What is your favorite color? And what? 
What is your quest? Oh, I, I seek the Holy Grail. <laughs> Monty Python fans, are you here? <laughs> yes, but you weren't expecting a Monty Python sketch, were you? <laughs> Yes, but then you weren't expecting the Spanish Inquisition either, were you? <laughs> Nobody ever expected the Spanish Inquisition, exactly. <laughs> and children, you think I've lost my mind. All right, Frank Peter is my name. This is my friend Don, my friend Paul, and we are here, quite simply, to share music with you for the next little while together. Songs and stories, thoughts and feelings, and since there are so many of you, and just three of us on stage. This is what we need for each and every one of you. Hey, nice album you got there. A little vinyl, I'll be signing that after. Oh, you got the... I don't know if you can see, but there's people over on this side who have multiple collections of, of Fred Penner CDs and, and pieces of vinyl. And I will be over at the merch tent after the performance to sign autographs if you'd like. Anyway, let me get back to it. Here's what I need from all of you is to open your eyes. You can see what's going on. Open your ears so you can hear the beautiful music and especially open your brain, your imagination so that you can take the songs and stories wherever you want them to go. Is that a deal? All right, give me a thumbs up. You want to be part of the Okie Dokie Club? Say Okie Dokie. You're in. All right. Sit up straight, clear your throats, <clears throat> take a breath through your nose. Ah. When I was a little child, about as old as you, I collected things that I would find and hide them in a shoe. Oxen shells and bottle caps, a ball of foil or string, they didn't cost a penny. And I felt just like a king. Here's your part. One to five and six to ten. Collect your thoughts and start again. One to five, six to ten. Collect your thoughts again. Like this. You go one to five, six to ten. Collect your thoughts and start again. Yes, one to five. Collect your thoughts again. And I've learned to really look For treasures from around the world I keep them in a book Stamps and coins and stickers A story poem and song Only my imagination Two thoughts that make me strong Here we go One to five, six to ten Collect your thoughts and start again Yes, one to five collection that means the most to me because it's hidden deep inside where nobody can see it comes from those who care for you this collection has its start in the memories and the feelings and the pictures in your heart one to five and six to ten memories that never So that's what today is all about, making some memories together. Yes, indeed. So I've been on this planet a long time, 72 plus years. I've been on the road for 45 years. And I am from Winnipeg, I told you that already. And I am 
the, uh, the middle child of five kids. I have an older brother and sister, a younger brother and sister, and my youngest sister, her name was Susie. Say Susie. And Susie was born with Down syndrome. And I think I learned more about music from her than any other person on this planet. Music would get right inside of her, literally, and she would cry and she'd laugh and she'd be so happy. And as a teenager, watching this happen, it put something inside of me of the value of music, how important music really is, and the difference that music can make in a person's life. So, I've been involved with the Down Syndrome Society for a long time. And I wrote a song for one of